Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. Give me the car keys. Don't play with me. Self-defense. It conjures up images of expert fighters using highly advanced techniques. Let's see if I can stop him with just one finger. Here we go, walk forward. That's amazing. But how can an average person learn the secrets of survival in a life and death confrontation? In this custom designed laboratory, a team of top physiologists, self-defense experts, and computer technicians. This is saying exactly what I'm saying. Will employ a variety of advanced biomechanical sensors. The things they do for science. Revolutionary high-speed video. And state-of-the-art 3D animation to explore some of the best methods of turning victims to victors. It's the incredible anatomy of human weapons. But the face isn't the only vulnerable point. The lower body also has a number of weak spots that are susceptible to a quick defensive strike. Me personally, I'd like to attack the knee. It's vulnerable because the knee has no lateral movement. It doesn't move from side to side. So if you can attack it on a particular angle, that's going to incapacitate an opponent very quickly. So, Bren, we're going to ask you to kick this crash test dummy in the knee, and we're gonna actually measure how much force you generate with that kick. We're actually gonna use a tech scan pressure pad. That will tell us exactly how much force or pressure is generated during that kick. If the ligaments in a knee joint can be torn with only 388 pounds of force, how much damage can Bren, a fifth degree black belt in Taekwondo cause? Ready, Bren? Yep. Okay, three, two, one, kick. Okay. Wow. So we were able to see that Brent generated about 750 pounds of force on the knee. That's a lot of force in that one area. Almost double the force needed to rip apart the joint ligaments. So that's probably enough to shatter the patella. Uh, definitely would snap the ligaments, press the leg back so fast. It would do a lot of damage. But can an average person take out an attacker's knee, or at least cause enough damage to get away? The answer lies in the science of the strike. Experts say that it's not the force of the impact that matters most, it's the direction. The key lies in the way the knee is designed to bend in flexion to facilitate sitting. But when the leg extends to a standing position, the joint locks and cannot bend in the other direction. Striking it in this position can cause hyperextension and severe damage to the delicate internal ligaments and cartilage pads within the knee joint. Snapping the joint backwards can damage the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL. And striking it sideways can take out the medial collateral ligament, or MCL. Either way, it's like chopping down a tree. Without structural support, the knee collapses, and so does the attacker.